up to eight. The day Porus went to school. Do you have a good memory? Have you ever forgotten anything? Have you ever forgotten the day and got up early on a Sunday morning to go to school? Let's read this play and know how a boy left for school on a Sunday morning. The characters: Porus, a boy of about ten years of age; Sandhya, his mother; Alok, his father; Bahadur, the colony watchman; Dadi, Porus's grandmother. Act One, setting Porus's house. Porus. Your father and I have to go to Nagpur for two days. Your father has to attend a conference there. You must be a good boy and not trouble your grandmother. Mom, I am always a good boy. Yes, you are. But sometimes you forget things because of your playfulness. Yes. Do you remember the day you kept playing in school and missed your school bus? I had to rush from home to fetch you. And that day, when it was my birthday, and you instead thought it was your friend's father's birthday and wished him. And the day you ate two breakfasts because you had forgotten that you had eaten the first. And the time. Okay, okay. I know there have been a few times when. Few or many. Mom, Dad, I promise I will remember to pack my bag, eat my tiffin, do my homework, and. <laughs> all right, all right. Just make sure you keep your word. Bye, Porus. Bye, Mom and Dad. Act Two, setting Porus's bedroom. The sun is peeping through the curtains. The alarm rings. Time to get up. Thank God, I had set the alarm. Now I must get up and get ready for school. I promise Mom and Dad that I will not forget anything. Porus, you have an excellent memory. You remember to pack your bag, keep your school clothes ready, polish your shoes. Well done. Porus springs out of bed and rushes about the room, getting ready. He looks at the clock. Oh gosh! It's time to leave. Otherwise, I will miss the bus. No time for breakfast. He clatters down the stairs and goes to his dadi's room. His grandmother is still sleeping. He wakes her and says, "Dadi, you are very lazy this morning. Look at me. I am already ready to leave for school." Porus, but. No, no, Daddy. I have no time for breakfast. You go back to sleep. I will have something to eat in school. But, sorry, Daddy. No time for chit chat. I will talk to you in the afternoon. Bye. Porus, listen. But Porus has rushed out of the room. Act three, setting bus stop. Porus is waiting at the bus stop. He has a puzzled. And surprised look on his face. The normal morning hustle bustle is missing. A few morning walkers pass by. They in turn look surprised when they see Porus. A milkman is going on his cycle. He almost falls down when he sees the boy. Just then the colony guard comes. Porus, beta, what are you doing here? Bahadur uncle, I am waiting for my school bus. Beta. Today is Sunday. Why are you going to school on a Sunday? Sunday? Oh no! In my enthusiasm about not forgetting anything, I have remembered too much. Porus walks back home. As soon as he reaches home, the phone rings. He picks up the phone. Porus, how are you? And how come you have got up so early on a Sunday morning? Mom. You and Dad told me not to forget anything. In my anxiety not to forget, I am remembering too much. He tells his mother the whole story. His mother starts laughing. Porus joins in. Then he goes back to sleep.